Hello and welcome to another Retro video. Today we're looking at the Sony CDP-103 Combat Disc Player. This player has an issue with the CD drive, it doesn't seem to open correctly. The previous owner stuck something on the front to help it open. So we're going to open it up, have a look at the belts, have a look at the rails, um, replace the belts and re-grease the rails and hopefully then it'll be better. So the first thing we've got to do is remove the case lid. There's just four screws, two on each side. Now we need to remove the front fascia panel. This is three screws on top, three screws underneath, and there's also a screw for the earth wire. So you can see when trying to open the disc drive, it just doesn't want to do it. I'm having to pull on the front of the disc drive to try and make it come out. Again, when trying to close a disk drive, it's just doing the same thing really slow. It doesn't really want to move without sort of aiding it to go back in. So let's now finish taking off the fascia panel, the three screws underneath, and then we can get that out of the way and then look at getting the CD drive out. This is the earth cable for the fascia panel. That just needs to be unscrewed, otherwise you won't be able to move it out of the way. So there's five securing screws for the CD drive. These just need to be removed and then it will lift out and then you can look at removing all the connections on the circuit board. And now I'll just unplug in all the cable connectors on the circuit board, just carefully lifting up. They unclip relatively easily. So the first thing we're going to do now, I've got the CD drive out, is to remove the belts. Uh, there's only two on this, so it's relatively straightforward. There's a small metal cover which just goes around the belts that I'm unscrewing now, two small screws. Then there's one small screw for one of the motors. This then just lifts up and then you can access the belts easily. It can be a bit fiddly getting the belts back on, um, but if you just take your time, it's not too bad. It's just a case of getting them back over the little pulleys. That's the first belt going back on. The motor then needs to be put back in place and then the small screw put back in.
the belt just seemed a little bit twisted here so I thought I'd take it back off and untwist it uh, it probably would have been fine I can't see it would have affected any operation but I thought just to be safe I'll do it before I put it all back together this belt goes over easily and it's just a cover to go back on and then we can start fitting it back up and just checking making sure the drive's working a bit better Now it's time to get the drive back in, straightforward, plug all the connectors back in and the five securing screws for the CD player. Again, this part could be a little bit tricky, so just taking my time to get the wires back underneath. Um, they've got to be rooted underneath the metal part of the shell. And once you've got them through, it's quite easy just to plug them back in. Now the fascia panel to be screwed back on, three screws on top, three screws underneath, and then the RF wire. Here I'm just applying a small amount of grease to the rails. Pretty sure that all the old grease would be dried up by now. Um, so anything that's left on there won't really be doing a lot. So now just working the grease back in. Now to test the drive operation. It is a little bit slow. I think the motors probably are a bit tired due to the age, uh, but it is operating a hell of a lot better than it was.
Time to put a lid back on. Again, two screws either side, nice and simple. Just a quick note, I did actually wipe it all down um, after I did this, before I tested it. It does look a little bit grubby in the videos, but it doesn't actually look this bad when it's cleaned off. Now we're just going to perform a quick test, just make sure it's all working okay, make sure it's playing, and just check the operations. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.